Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about the top 10 creatures and this is going to be surprising. I'm going to base it solely on the percentage of it being played in the main decks of the last modern season. Number one, you're not going to guess what it is. I was shocked when I saw this card, Scavenging Ooze. Yes, the $4 Scavenging Ooze has now, it, I mean, it can't remain at its price point if it's seeing that much play. Scavenging Ooze is very, very good in the current meta. It's, I mean, one of the reasons Jun is a deck again. Uh, so Scavenging Ooze is played in 24% of the main decks in the top 32 <laughs> of GPs, right? So of last season. Um, so very, very highly, one of the most played cards right now. The most played card at 24%. Spouse Guide, uh played at 22% is number two. And Snapcaster is also tied at 22%. Spouse Guy, as you see, twin. That's one of the be better ways to deal with twin. Is one of the better ways to protect your own twin. It's one of the better ways to uh, do. You know, it, it does. It's kind of like an anti-removal card. It's one more blocking piece from you to attack your opponent because you have to kill the Spouse Guy. And Lightning Bolt doesn't really kill the Spouse Guy because he has enough power to survive it. So it makes it very annoying. Snapcaster Mage, very little I need to say about him. He's one of the most dominant creatures in Standard. If you are blue, you play at least a few copies of him, uh, if not the entire playset. So then Tamagorf is at 21%. So the most expensive card in Modern is only ranked number 4. And it's, I mean, you, got, you go Ooze 1. Ooze, that's surprising. Like, leave me a comment below if you feel like that's correct. But that the data does not lie. Uh, it is, Ooze is the no, most played in modern decks percentage wise of any card and and that's crazy so uh tomogorf is four a very interesting speculation comes at five this one i love to death as a number uh, as a speculation tassiger tassiger after the reprint of the event deck with the wench Warp teeth and the hangback walker <laughs> and, you know there's very oh okay not the wench swept heath um what was it Tassiger was recently reprinted in a product that had a lot of money in it. And that's why he's at $4, $5 Tassiger, but he is the fifth most played card. And then you look at the cards ahead of it, Ooze, except Ooze, you got Spell Scott, very expensive, Snapcaster, very expensive, Tamagoyf, very expensive, Tassiger. Relatively easy to obtain and relatively inexpensive at 20%. Noble Hierarch comes in at number 6 at 15%. Again, very, very strong card. Love it for the Infect decks. Love it for the Mana Ramp decks. And, you know, I play uh, Hate Bears, which is not Tier 1, but I, it's good in that deck too. Another very surprising card. I guess it comes down to the fact that Affinity has been played more than any other deck by a large margin. Uh, so when you look at Affinity, it's played 13%. That is equal to Scape Shift, Grixis Control, Grixis Twin, and Abzan, plus, let's say, Naya Zoo. All those decks combined make up how much you are likely to see one Affinity deck as you were likely to see those five decks combined. Oh, there's four decks. Uh, so, Vault Scourge and Steel Overseer, Arcbound Ravager, Signal Pest, they all make the bottom rest of it at 13% because they're played as four ofs or they're played in any time you run Affinity, you run these creatures. And that's kind of why the data is a little skewed. But at the same time, uh, you do have Ooze as one, you have Spell Sky as two, you have Maze, Snapcasty at three, Tamagorf at four, Tassigur at five, Noble High Arc at six, and then from 7, 8, 9, 10, you got uh, Vault Scourge, Overseer, Arcbound, Pest, off and oh, Grim Lama Mancher is 13% too. Mennonite, I mean, you have the entire affinity deck list of creatures at after 7 because they're played in every single deck at 13%, which is also the amount which makes sense mathematically because it's also the amount that affinity the deck itself is played. So, very surprised to see Scavenging Ooze as one, though. That's uh, pretty crazy to me that 24% of the decks currently in the last modern season had Scavenging Ooze in them. Uh, that's 
very insane to me. And it also marks scavenging ooze as well as Tassiker. Very interesting speculation from a financial point of view because they are relatively easy to trade for and relatively easy to buy at this moment in time. Bye guys.